So once again, we continue our mining adventures at Chalk Mountain. So let's refer back to video one and that highly mineralized mine we explored on the side of the mountain. If we go south and over several ridges, we end up at this mine. This is our final destination today. You can see there are a number of other mines in the immediate area, and we will visit these also. So if we skip now to video 6 in this series, we follow the same road as in the beginning of the film, but now at the coordinates north 39 degrees 27 531 by west 118 degrees 07.762, you will find a T in this road. Head directly east up the wash on a spur road. In short order, you will pass this small set of rock walls belonging to a house. They probably framed the top with several pieces of wood and then drew a tarp over it. As we begin to climb up the wash, keep your eyes peeled for rocks such as this, which have separated from ledges. You can clearly see the sulfur and iron, plus the quartz streamers. You certainly want to metal detect these. After about 10 minutes, you will come to this mine. It is fairly well hidden up the wash in the canyon. The shaft goes straight down quite a ways and tracks this highly mineralized zone. Let me give you a few views of that. Just to the side of the shaft are two prospects. This one, though it only proceeds about 15 feet into the hill, is especially interesting. Here we have quartz veins surrounded by iron. Let's metal detect this. So the falcon sounds positive for iron, but negative for gold and silver. Still, this is a highly interesting area and deserves some time with a metal detector that probes deeply. The coordinates for this mine are north 39 degrees, 19.788, by west 118 degrees, by 07.762. Continue to proceed up the wash. It is fairly steep, but doable. In about 15 minutes, you will reach the very top where we are now. We visited this area towards the end of the part five video. Here is the house we saw before, which is to the south. Now we pan due east, and here is a shaft that we previously visited. And there it is. And again we pan east, and here is where we are headed now. Over the far ridge and along the way, we will pass a few prospects. This one is not very interesting, but you can see they were after a kind of cherty quartz marbled in low mineralization. Obviously, they didn't get very far. This area is incredibly heavy in iron. There are a few small prospects cut out by a tractor along a mineralized seam. Here is a nice example of some quartz strings in iron. So the coordinates for this mine are 39 degrees, 19.790 by west 118 degrees, 07.757. From here on out, immediately we have a swarm of mining activity. Most are prospects, but some are audits and shafts of substantial length. I'll run through them fairly fast on the video here. While most of the mines were following various quartz types through oxidized layers, several tunnels were sunk into a more slate type rock which simply bore quartz veins. All are shown here in the order that you would pass them. At one area of especially high mineralization, I did metal detect and immediately found some nice and strong hits. Remember that generally you are most interested in hits where the mineralization is horizontal and at the border between that mineralization and the host rock. 
All things ideal, the precious metals should sink to the lowest point of the mineralized zone, which is exactly what we have here. I have not pointed this out before, but when you find zones of a white, soft, clay material in these laminate-based layers, chances are that this is highly decomposed field spar, quartz, that has been sitting in a sulfuric acid long enough that it is almost disintegrated. In some of my previous films, you have seen me get hits off of this type material. This is always a nice indicator for gold. From the base of the wash, we start up the mountain. Our objective is the second mine shown in this video, the one seen from our vantage point on Dixie Valley Road. It turns out that the long row of oxidized, the red oxidized rocks, is a prepared trail to the mine. I bet at this point it is virtually gone. So here is our final mine. There has been quite a bit of collapse, especially with large rocks, so I would certainly stay out of here. As expected, the mineralization is quite heavy, and you can see moderately sized quartz veins.